Hey, it's Tommy Coletti. I'm here with a Fender Master Build Andy Hicks Strat. It's going to knock your socks off. Be sure to like and subscribe on our YouTube channel. Let's get into it. So let's get into it. Those of you not familiar with Andy Hicks, you soon will be because he's one of the, like, the, the great new master builders at the Fender Custom Shop and I'm sure soon to be highly backordered and we were lucky enough to get this guitar. So what were we chasing on this? What was kind of a fun mashup of things? And it's, it's worth talking about some of the original guitar history in the 70s whether it's we're talking about Edward Van Halen or we're just talking about like what was available at the time. So we got to go back in time a little bit. And both Fender and Gibson were at these kind of like pivotal moments in their separate careers as, as companies. And the Gibsons were very, very heavy and, and they weren't really paying attention to like a lot of the details that got them notoriety in the first place. And certainly those 50s Les Pauls, things had kind of strayed off from that. And Fender, kind of the same thing, you know, like, so, so what developed? It developed as these small guitar builders like Wayne Charvel, uh, Lynn Ellsworth at Boogie Bodies, uh, Dave Schechter at Schechter Guitars. There was several, um, I think Phil Kubicki came later, but there's several guys that were just making necks and bodies and, and basically people going and trying to find nicer woods or a different feeling neck other than like a highly lacquered fender neck or whatever it was, they were looking for different specs and you were able to, to mix and match things. You know, so then that enters into like, I guess where somebody like Eddie was on at this point in his career, like he wanted to build something that was just truly uniquely his. And people were doing this. People would, you know, like nicer koa, koa bodies and different maple necks and it really gave you the ability to kind of mash things up. So that's, that's sort of what this is. This is a, a 70s or late 60s, early 70s style big headstock. Um, we happen to engrave the Fender logo into the headstock, which we think is, looks really cool. Brass nut, so another 70s thing which should be brought back. So the brass was a really big thing on guitars in the 70s. And I've had this discussion with several people where they go, well, when you're fretting a note, does it matter what the material of the nut is? And well, you get sympathetic resonance from any part of the guitar, whether you're fretting the note here and there's stuff going on up here, it's still happening, you know? So it was interesting that both Eddie's uh, Frankenstein guitar and his uh, Ibanez Destroyer both had brass nuts. So we added the brass nut, huge fret wire. This is a, a maple neck, maple board, huge frets. I mentioned that already. 6100, they feel fantastic, real easy to shred. This pickup is a Seymour Duncan 78, which also chases that hot rodded PAF pickup that was, there was rumors that Seymour and Ed were going back and forth on designing a pickup, and, and Seymour had sent Ed a couple of pickups, and this was, I believe, designed after one of the ones that Seymour sent him in the late 70s. Uh, one volume knob, pick guard, we used roasted ash on the original, Ed's original guitar, it was ash, and now roasted ash is access accessible, and we think it's awesome and great. It makes it a little bit more lightweight, too. And this guitar is just absolutely so much fun to play. And unless you're searching for something like the Super Eruption or a guitar like that, uh, unobtainium. And it's worth a shot. They play wonderful. You should check one out. Thanks so much for watching again. Please be sure to follow us on our social media at The Music Zoo. Like and subscribe. Leave comments. I love to watch the comments. I'll, I'll comment myself on there and interact with you guys. If you own one, tell us about your experience with it. If you want one, you have questions, like be sure to hit us up. Uh, talk to you soon. Thanks again.